Showed you Claire Nagel as Bavalyam Shewish Altacher. My name is Robert Cutin Carswell, Robert Carslach. Have you ever heard tell of old Bobby Bob? And in this bilingual program, you'll hear me giving part of it in the English language as Nishu Clash and me Corpur Deliagi Sahilg, and you'll be hearing me giving another part of it in the Manx Gaelic, Chinian Amera, the mother tongue of Alan Vanning, the Isle of Man. As Barach and Jurish. Whilst David Robertson has reeled off the various Stanleys fairly quickly, he's now come to Anstanlach Moor, James Stanley. His father, William, had retired from public affairs, so James Stanley had been involved in running the Stanley and Derby interests before even succeeding to the earldom of Derby himself. To Mina Harker, Engrain, Gizach Pecher Bielia, Clashen Gilen Phonographach and early John Seward, Er Kunta and Angesh Fein Gries of Rege, Tre Lord Machon Best Lucy Westenra. To John Seward Cordell, Nach Gin. A Gesh, Tamina Harker Smunion Rish as Greyrish, Sign the Sly Elia Clashne. We start with music by the Gaelic Community Choir Un Chorey, with musical arrangements by the conductor Kiriel and Clegg, and this is the first half of a set called Skeelan Alien Vanning. Tashu Geishach Rishu Radio Vanning, Stashu the Nashun, Biskuller Skelia Mach, Vaidulish Alien Vanning. Yeah. 
And that's the first part of Skeel and Ellen Vanning by Gaelic Community Choir, Un Chore, and we'll hear the conclusion of that a little later. David Robertson has mentioned how James Stanley and his wife Charlotte were staunch royalists, and, in fact, for which James was executed. Robertson notes, nevertheless, how miserably the Stanleys were treated by Charles II on the restoration of the monarchy. However, he takes the story back now to 1643. In 1643, says Robertson, he and Stanlach Moore, James Stanley, the 7th Earl of Derby, was commanded by Charles I to retire to the Isle of Man, not only for its defence, but also that, by his presence, he might check the spirits of liberty which had animated his subjects to resist the rigour of their lieutenants and the more odious oppression of their clergy. The discontents of the nation were, however, so violent that he judged it prudent to convene the twenty-four keys and sixty-eight parochial representatives. And here a footnote says there are seventeen parishes in the island. Accordingly, four representatives for every parish were summoned on this occasion. Sign thou, a cren fair vrimi. Er nod an e pertej in skil aglach, perche bes lusi bach vin, as ul you henk roshen. Er no, se striu vis roin, de glena mach a veis dachim ach show as a chrunya, sign de ve ein ul you, an tushjach as a chuna vis regedenein. Tamis munion drown a kilinder an hugs you dow, goils jach the smoon of a shu kerel de berg visem her. Ach, Fodum tickle the vel unser a cortus yo, imma di saljigan sa foliach dorach a sho. Ni o liga dau kuna na gin? Ta fissa mer ol yu gus tre er lie, as tami tickle hana gen renna gi len yo cor leshmi gus an shak du le main fower, an acht fra lusi vach chons jacher, as an achman crach aglach ekkol a jonu. To Jonathan as Mr. Ray Garbrach, he is lying near his friend the Nolliban Helsing wagon shin. Tang Olgus Whitby, the Gadden Tull you fiss, as beer and shaw len a verach the Hunulian. Now you can do a Cornish three hand reel to this. It's a version by Pibba of the song of the thief, Ray a Lever. He airs to the devil with his wooden leg and shuffle, dick and tin by the bushel with his tail cut up. He airs to the devil with his wooden leg and shuffle, dick and tin by the bushel with his tail cocked up. Ray, a lever and jowl, you mar and foul, we poor thing clearly as Ray, a lever quas barber, you had get folk to a arthur. Some say the devil's dead and buried in foy arbor. Some say he's live again and prenticed to a barber. When Tom's father died, Tom and I, we took a ride down by the riverside and home again for dinner. Ray, a lever and down, you marrow and pow, we porth and clay, yes. Ray, a lever, quest barber, you had get both you a arta. And there we had the Cornish band Piba Plethen Adri, a three hand reel. Genel Femer Folliacht and the Mastine, Les Gabracher Kujachas, Les Sledden Tres, Fodmuts on Sigris Venestraja, Numavis Custian Guinness. Ichi Arum Ho Achenach, the Renmi Ligachal Lirach than a Yerianek, 
Neil Dortmi Marsalius a chwys. The gin ye lai dawe mor vim gin o a ger. Tarid yn eti mach fos reinsacha. Ach, wa wis siw yng ol chawd yr red gys bes lwsi boch, chabis yw bwyach ta fys y mer da hanach dyn ginnis. Da jaru, ffyddi da gin yn gera je, yn i'r gera, cord yw sgel da hi. Tarji, sian y gin erain, sain dyn dera ie ffre leger y je elia son na fys rhoi'n, ta ofer jawlach aglach rhy un o ein. Tre ta siw yn ni, ni siw ffed yn mach y chwyd y mar, ys nym co ffregyd da ffes yr fi ni siw cor, ma fys rhyd yn ach ys chynel siw da higl, ge da rhaw i bach dal dingen fy cion ffenis. Now this footnote of Robertson's continues. This election, from the Keys and parochial representatives, didn't affect the constitution of the country, they had not power to abrogate or frame laws, but only to present and investigate abuses, which, being chiefly clerical, the Friends of Reform prudently judged that the amplest support was necessary to eradicate those evils the Church had authorised. Now, whilst we've noted before that Robertson evidently thought poorly of the monarchy, he often didn't have much to say that was to the credit of the church either. However, we return to this calling together by James Stanley of these various representatives. From each body, he says, he selected twelve men, whom he appointed to investigate and present all such abuses as have been committed against the laws of the land and the public weal. This assembly discharged with fidelity the duty they owed to their constituents and to posterity. favourite, a real name for a Sligo fiddler, John Dowd, but it was played there in a 1938 recording made in New York by Hugh Gillespie. Hugh Gillespie had been born in Donegal in 1906. He later returned to Donegal, in fact, to live. The Nation Station Next Dod yw stasiwn the nasiwn Radio Valing, a si clair na geil tar y chlas yn cart nis, mer yn pyn Robert Cytyn Carswell, Robert y Carswell ach. Did the other hear tell of old Bobby Bob? 
To clear the gale, reclash and with shacht and look jiggle or scale your mach and hear hear show, Gurushimidi clear and radio vanning Elias, shen through den chraman er agert, er in a radio vanning. As to clear the gale, mash than a heed and door and the podcast and vis regarding nasty er in a radio vanning, the true den reich er the podcast yo, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Audible, Spotify, Google Podcasts, tune in, na Alexa. And so, as we heard, the chosen representatives did their work for, says Robertson, several abuses, chiefly clerical, were presented and immediately abolished. And as the people formally combated with success the encroachments of prerogative, they now triumphed over the pride and avarice of their spiritual oppressors. And a footnote here says, through the errors of popery in this island... um, yielded to the reformed principles, oh, oh, well, shall, though the errors of popery in this island yielded to the reformed principles soon after their establishment in England, yet, till 1643, the clergy retained but ample portion of intolerant power. Well, back to the text now. Having thus established tranquillity among his subjects, he, as to say James Stanley, the Stanlach Moor, hastened from man to support his lady, who was then gallantly defending Latham House against a detachment of the parliamentary forces under the command of General Fairfax. But soon after, through the jealousy of some potent courtiers, he was again compelled to visit the island. Your light mean a harker, a nihilize feed main fower. Lord Janair hank me merish a fairly seward cause the chambers do dare as ega. Rene Corlesh reach a phonograph by my chamber as Remi Corlesh my cry screwy. Hug me yons care sour as Rene reich a phonograph the dot me benton rich gin eerie as Rene salge gemacht thou an acht the horstap er me va me giri furgache. Esch fies mon yachtach haie schies ons care as a green dus. The Biden chasers for the yunu, as how he tired the yai. Hug me a vein golegach gus machlishen, as deish me. Treven skil aglach jay bess lucy as jay ulur and gartisan, virgint, run me lai sheer sherem gin bri. De hoil hanele maruchus the royal neil. Trehonic and fairly sewered me, Rene Limonus, lesh aim the al, as air the stress goil mach bo jail herinach as cupboard, ho get out put the brandy, as Ren Shen, once minute the hair, cor arm de her chowrel begging. Now we heard Welsh singer and harp player last time as a quarter of the group Pedire, and that was Gwenan Gibbard. For a fourth part of that group, Pedire, and here is Gwenan Gibbard as a soloist this time with the song Dod the Lau. Sarah, my 
Gwyn an Gibbard and the song Dod the Lau, Bring Your Hand. Fa my inch and null you for the gelia, as her bed a denk through the cladden channel, the ridden atchimach, a gowl casuric solace the raum lucy chawin for yer egg she. Er liam na biden er way able, the horror leg in jinna must there. Hukai, as folliachtach, as quaich as day. Man ar awfisser fe em er cil chionid Jonathan ons Transylvania a baiden er fe ebel de chredule. Eer mor fe, ar awfisser mer na de chreu. As ma so, as ma so ren bi cas na mach as ma gholiad lior is goil ons lau ridden ach elia. Gaw mi a cwdach fai ma grae sgriwi, as dwrt mi ar y sifferli siwrd. Lyg daw sgriw mach si ol yw nes. Sain daw ddeirlws on y ferli van Helsing, tre hege. Tam i'r cord celgram gys Jonathan dy chyt roes gys so, tre ni a roes yn lunning fai Whitby. Sychw sio ta deitn, ledn sgan sioel. Ys er liam, ma fysyn cor olyw y stu ond ein eilw, ys dy fel ond sôrda, ys dy fel dach mir ond sôrda rair yn deitn, dy bi mwren jyntain. The mortifications James Stanley thus suffered from the sycophants of a weak prince, that's Robertson's opinion of King Charles I, a weak prince, to whom he was zealously devoted, were mitigated by the presence of his lady and family, who on this occasion accompanied him. During his residence here, General Ireton proposed to him the repossession of his estates in England on condition of surrendering the Isle of Man to Parliament. But this proposal the Earl of Derby treated with the highest indignation. His answer is preserved in Hume's history, and is more distinguished by enthusiasm and arrogance than calm magnanimity. After the death of Charles I, the Earl of Derby, being invited to England by the young prince, returned with three hundred soldiers of birth and fortune, leaving his lady and part of his family in the island. He was present at the Battle of Worcester, from the dangers of which he assisted Charles II to escape. Now, Charles, uh, Charles George Clavey is from Edinburgh, and he was a mod gold medalist back in 1960. And here he leads the way in a, a, a bit of a Cayley, with the audience all joining in, in singing Duanag and Choladr, as the sailor wishes he could stay in the island with Katrina, but uh, it's obviously got a deadline because next Tuesday he has to go, he tells her. Yeah. 
Clavy with an enthusiastic audience joining him on the chorus of that song, Doonag and Choladur, the sailor's ditty. But on returning into Lancashire, James Stanley was taken prisoner, and on the 15th of October 1651, suffered at Bolton for his enthusiastic attachment to principles that will ever prove equally hostile to the dignity of the prince and the happiness of the people. His lady was then in the Isle of Man, and on being informed of the decollation of her husband, she was she retired into Castle Russian, determined to defend that fortress to the last extremity. From the execution of this heroic purpose, she was, however, prevented by the prudence of Captain Christian, in whom she chiefly confided. Being a native of the Isle, he was attached to its welfare and to save his countrymen from the miseries of war, capitulated to Colonels Birch and Duckinfield, who, with ten armed vessels, had invaded the island, but on whose arrival the whole country submitted to the government of the Republic. By this event, the Countess of Derby was detained a prisoner till the Restoration. Tashu Ginstow, the gin and char and godalming as manche morris chit, yes. Lit un ve able de inchtow tret Rer sien, rinne cor a phonograph de gulleg bywyd mol, as gam i toioch der claw sgriw a'i toioch de chiach dwys chylinda. Rinn mi ymyd jy peber yn carbonach, as ma so rinn mi tri cop yn jy'n jy len, cart mor fyr jynt em leis na ffyr elia. Fe an mach trefo mi jynt, ach hai yn ferri siwr de chwlina yn ober ega jy gulmwg gyrt na surrns i ega, Trefe a chod gera er sen, henk e bach as hai a sís fagus dau, as ren e lai, ma son a rau mi genach dan rof a denach, chaus fwa mi gabrache. Cha mai a smunioch dach as deisen, ten seil gyn de ve lend a gen e mai, eir ma bis eurd beis nonsen. Roos ma deg mea, fa cunion em er de ren Jonathan skriw sal jor le ege, ma chion bwrdo yn olw, tre ren i liai rydd yn achons peber, faster, sy stasiwn ons Exeter.
band Fours Penhouse with the title track from their album released earlier this year, Rock. And that track is for dancing Rond de Ludiag. Stasiun yn rasiwn to Radio Vanning na zegy trae ton si Claire na geil wy sgol yr sgil ym ach ege. Mis, Robert Cwtyn Corswell, Robert a Corslach. Have I heard tell of our Bobby Bob? Ma so, trae honnig mi, dy fel yn ffairlu siwr ffreil na pebro naiach ege, gaw mi er ysach na cwdychyn ond aw fy The Westminster Gazette as The Pall Mall Gazette, as yr ymi corlesiad gos mi hiemer. Ta cunion em er chwys as the Daily Graph as the Whitby Gazette, jawr em i geddyn giaragyn, cunolion dy higgol na tachyrt yn aglach ons Whitby, tra henc yn cawnt rac i ddy gwrs y tolw. Ma so, nym dyn trwy'n y peber yn ffasd yn i'r ysien, as ffwrdd i ddy dyn yn geddyn lyd, no. Chynel mi sabinach, as nyn ofer cwna dy reil cwn mi. Gilan yn er li siwr, yn joi o le ys ffyd mewn ffawr. Rhenc mae'n siahag yr eid nai er y chlag. Fe yng nghedd yn celgran y fe'n llesia cart ros mae gawe toiacht. Te achtel dar sgyn cagenus mae ys bryunus dy fe jynt fai yn eddyn ege, ys ledn dy fri. Mae'r fys ffyrn iacht yn lior le sios, jyn o bryunus red y chi'l chionet yn dys ac em pyn, sian mor ti, te na wynion ys J. Donnellus Moor. Yet, says Robertson, during her captivity, this is Charlotte de Tremouy, Countess of Derby, or rather now the Dowager Countess of Derby, being the widow of Stanlach Moor, yet during her captivity she was, reports Robertson, honoured with all the deference and respect due to her heroism and virtues. On her liberation she retired to Knowsley, where the odious neglect and ingratitude of Charles II embittered her life and hastened her dissolution. And, as I mentioned the other week, you can find out more about the life of Charlotte de Tremouy in the excellent book by Dr Jennifer Curley Draskow. However, with Charlotte and her entourage having been forced to surrender Castle Russian to the parliamentary army, David Robertson tells us that, soon after its reduction... In 1652, the Isle of Man was granted to Lord Fairfax, in a manner, he says, more honourable than any former possessor had obtained it. And, well, what he has to say here perhaps shouldn't surprise us by now, but we'll look at that next. Let's return now to the sound of Un and the conclusion of their suite of songs, Skeelan Ellen Valley. Just call 
And that was Ungeray. I'm sorry the applause was rather cut off there. The second part of Skeel and Alan Vanning, Stories of the Isle of Man. And so how was it then, according to this officer of the Crown, as he was, David Robertson, that in 1642 the Isle of Man was granted to Lord Fairfax in a manner more honourable than any former possessor had obtained it? Well, he goes on to say that it was conferred upon him, not by the folly or prodigality of princes, but by the judgment of Parliament, for his gallant and generous exertions in the cause of mankind. So, really not a monarchist, and certainly not a royalist by any stretch of the imagination, in saying that on the accession of Charles the Second to that throne, which his father had lost by his pusillanimity and despotism, the Isle of Man, with all its regalities and privileges, was restored to the Derby family. Charles, the son of the nobleman who suffered at Bolton, was the first Lord of Man after the Restoration. Well, Charles seems to have been in no great favour with either of his parents in his early life, but he was the one who engineered the execution of William Dawn as a sort of matter of family honour. Eschen Golschiskus a chamber for hollow and na geert, wat denis wie woren schen. Lord au jaie gunte hege, J. Van my eerlu de hitquail comme brau de herenjid. A scorn van my jerker was a dunje ser kuhn, as e eerlu son over, henke so ju. Nasan me. Lurt kerbel, high harker as a ven hesher back as a chamber or keen. As gauz remigol sha, tamelt er de henne, heel me krig a grai skriwi. Tad gobrach at the cry. De Banasje Hager Grey, de wel het vierde geel ons orde reren deed, dag meer de henisch vis oxen. Eg haker ten een schreeuwde net er een peger en getten de kistje in ons witby, as ne immer ge ons lunning en goelet voon in gorm. Te jij nisch en max schreeuw jint de gewen jesje jen gile en hem. Ta mi ginde ser nacht dat tikkele. Schaag hei. Square geen a denker dau riu, fuddy de bergen eer tai nebu, cool a goud. Now there's a pig fair in the Cornish town of St Ives. The band Dalla sing about it here. Where has your mommy gone so early in the evening? 
Where has your mommy gone? Gone away to Bermo. Where has your mommy gone? So early in the evening. Where has your mommy gone? Gone away to Bermo. See the pig dressed up so fine, glazing through the window pane. And go where your mommy's gone? Gone away to Bermo. Go where your daddy's gone and go where your mommy's gone and go where your brother's gone. Where has your brother gone? So early in the evening. Where has your brother gone? Gone away to Bermo. Where has your brother gone? So early in the evening. Where has your brother gone? Gone away to Bermo. Sing a carol round the fire. There's no need of a chapel choir. And go where your brother's gone. Gone away to Bermo. Go where your daddy's gone. And go where your mommy's gone. And go where your brother's gone. And go where your sister's gone. Where has your sister gone? Too early in the evening. Where has your sister gone? Gone away to Bermo. Where has your sister gone? So early in the evening. Where has your sister gone? Gone away to Bermo. Take a whisk and tease the boys. There's a dance and all the joys. And go where your sister's gone. Gone away to Bermo. band then called Dalla, now called Skilly Withen, with a song about a pig fair in Porth Ear, the port of St Ives, St Ives Fair Mo, Pig Fair. She, banny me, ach van lied on the lure ein vai immerke a hurrens ach Renfield, van bart a skriwen and bent in de kionach a tai, les a chlau skriwen, o, oh, de rauwe der wei ingen, na smoche, fudi de bergen ach hau eil Lucy vach. Square by Shen, so red Shen to Ben and a lie. How he, Charles Stanley, died in 1672 and was succeeded by his eldest son, on whose decease in 1702 the younger son, James, inherited the honours and estates of the family, being the 10th Earl of Derby and of the Stanley line, the 13th Lord of Man. As Shene nicht an Treyer dit de Chorkion ern Claire. From seven to nine o'clock, you can enjoy the best of chill out music for your Sunday evening in the company of Chris Pearson. Then at nine o'clock, Judith Lay will be here with Sundown. We close Claire Nagale this time with music by County Limerick harp player Fina Nichol playing some Irish jigs. Ach, Shenanish, as we saw until the next time, then. This is Robert Cutting Carswell, Robert Carslach. Old Bobby Bob. Wishing you a very good night, Eve. I'm a Creary, will you? As Orchelier, as me Yerian shared you. <laughs>